Hi Pisces, thanks for joining me Beyond the Moon. My name is Tammy and I am doing your general spirit messages, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus for Pisces. Um, this could be anything from love, career, work, finance, family, home, relationships, anything. Take it as it resonates, okay? Um, I did pre-shuffle because I use a lot of decks and it takes like 20 minutes and I don't want to bore you, but I will be doing... Um, um, spirit um, advice and some angel messages okay at the end so with that said let's get started um, again sorry keep in mind time is fluid so if I go into the past it could be happening maybe happening already happened isn't gonna happen at all check your other placements maybe this reading isn't for you and you'll find other messages there okay um, I did um, get a general collective um, message for you guys and it was moving so I don't know if you're moving houses if you are moving forward from relationships moving jobs something along the line of moving maybe you know moving on from something take that how it resonates okay um, I am seeing a lot of like two 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 so and five 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 four and forty actually four 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 so angel messages if you google it those numbers, they might have more messages for you there, okay? So we're going to start off the reading with um, all tied up. So you might have been feeling stuck, trapped, bound, like you couldn't move, couldn't, anywhere you turned, it was like the wrong answer. Deceit, so maybe someone lied, fooled you, deceived, um, deceit you, deceit you, deceit, <laughs> deceited. I'm sorry, I've been doing readings all day. Um someone tricked you someone lied to you you know deceit card stole from you and i feel like you're breaking free from that because you're gonna go on a journey okay it does moving possibly moving somewhere away from this energy where you felt stuck and lied to and trapped and someone maybe stealing something cheating Lying, cheating, stealing, whatever this is, it's very harsh, negative energy, and I feel like you are moving away from that. You're putting this in the past, and you're moving on to something new. Could be work, you know, maybe you were working with people, or you were in a job that you felt stuck in, and there was, like, just backstabbers and liars that you were working with, and I feel like you're, you packed up your bags, and you're like, I'm out of here. I'm moving on. All right. So then we have round and round, okay? So cycles, being stuck in a cycle. So that's kind of like this all tied up cycle after cycle, like false start, nothing changes. Someone promises you it's going to change and it doesn't. Or maybe you're moving from job to job and it's the same old crap, different place, you know, so just being stuck in like that cycle or going round and round in your head. What do I do? Um, but there is going to be some mending happening here. Okay. And I feel like you're going to do it using whether you're male or female, you're going to do it like using kind of like a gentler side. Okay. So there's some kind of like healing, mending going on and possibly with a soulmate. And a soulmate could be a job. It could be someone you work with. It could be your boss. It could be a family member. Okay, so I feel like there's healing going on with you and someone that, you know, it's going to be um, like a compassionate conversation or you're going to have compassion for the person or them, you, and it's going to, you know, create some mending and some healing for you, which that's great. Okay, maybe even just healing from the past. Maybe, you know, a soulmate that hurt you from the past. You're going to have forgiveness, not towards them, but with, within yourself towards them, you know, um, to help you kind of like move on from it. Um, there is going to be some truth that comes out or you're going to, you're going to realize the truth, you know, after some introspection, maybe you're going to have like an aha moment and say, oh, clarity, truth. This is what really happened after deceit, deception. That's what I was looking for before. <laughs> you know, after some deception, truth comes out. And it might leave you kind of like at a standstill for a little bit. You know, um, like, what? <laughs> what just happened? What did I just find out? You know? Um, so it might leave you at a standstill. A little bit stuck. 
maybe like the shock of it, you know, um, but I feel like there is going to be recovery from it. You know, things are going to start to move forward again. Um, we have the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. Okay. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini. You don't have to be, maybe something happened in Gemini season. Um, last month was the full moon in Gemini, I think the end of November. So maybe something happened at the end of November. Um, and it gave you answers, the truth came out, okay? Uh, what do you need to release, waning moon? So now it's asking like, what do you need to release now? Out of all this energy, you know, um, the lying, cheating, stealing, the the um, closing out circles or cy circles, cycles, closing out cycles, you know? So what what is it that you need to release now to move forward, to get the ball rolling? So we have transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. So yeah, you're doing some healing here. After some harsh truth came out or some realizations or clarity happened, you're now healing yourself. You know, in, in your near future or in the now moment, you have healer of the ages. So yeah, you are healing. You are transforming and healing yourself. And you're saying no. You're saying no to anything that is going to cause you to have to like postpone or wait on something. I mean, the card says no, wait, postpone, pause, say no. So maybe you need to think things through. If you're getting offers coming in, you need to think about them. You know, how is this going to benefit me? Is this for my best good? You know, what is it going to bring to me? Is it worth it? You know, is the juice worth the squeeze here? Um, but I feel like it's more saying you're going to say no to anybody that's going to interfere with your personal healing, right? So you're just, you're saying no, you're not having it. I pulled some tarot. Yeah, exactly what I just said. So judgment, Scorpio energy, um, calling, making a judgment call. Like, I'm not happy. I'm moving on. You know, this could be a reconciliation but uh, not necessarily seeing reconciliation here. I'm seeing more like you're like making a solid decision, a solid decision. And it's divinely guided, you know, if the angels are helping you because you're tired of we have nine of swords. You're tired of this anxiety, hurt, pain, sleepless nights, overthinking, not knowing why did this happen? Why did this happen? What is going on? Why did this happen to me? Why did they do that? Why did I get fired? Why did I lose my job? Why did I get stabbed in the back? You know, just the anxiety of it. And you're making a decision, six of swords, to get on the boat and move to someplace calmer. You're out of here. You're moving away. That was maybe what it is. You're moving away from the bullshit or what no longer serves you. You're just moving away from it because you're going to be in this power here, Knight of Wands. Uh, Sagittarius energy, fire, passion, you know, free, just following where you want to go, finding yourself again, finding what sparks your interests, your passions, and you're moving forward towards that. That's what your goal is, to get rid of this dark, dark negative energy and to move forward to something that lights you up, right? Okay, so now into like the current moment. We have healer of the ages and woman holding a coin. So I feel like, yeah, you are putting all this behind you and you're healing and you're being protected and you have the angels here helping you and guiding you and woman holding a coin. So this could be a couple things like maybe if you're trying to start a business, you know, um, trying to find the funds to start a business, you know, you could come across someone that is financially stable that can offer an investment towards you or invest in you or in your idea or your project um, or this could just be you healing from stuff and you know now abundance is starting to come your way now you're starting to manifest the right way instead of this negativity you're you're thinking more positive now and that does bring in you know financial success or just success in a relationship you know but maybe someone around you is going to offer to help okay that'll help heal or help move you along. And this could even be just money coming your way from whatever you're, you're working on, project, work, business. Take it how it resonates. Um, 
Yeah, because you're you're manifesting. Imagine you're visualizing what it is that you want. You have a deep knowing that this is lucrative or this is right for you. This is the path you're supposed to be on. I mean, you're Pisces, deep knowing, intuition, like you you were spot on. I know it's like with your own life, <laughs> it's hard, but for everybody else is like, you know everything, right? So take that time to, you know, quiet your mind and what do you want? You know, you have a deep knowing, you know, you can see it. You can feel it, you can see it, you know. Yeah, so meditate, breathe, clear your mind from all the nonsense. Clear your mind and you will be able to start seeing synchronicities, feeling, you know, intuition and listening to your own inner guidance and your higher self. And it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> so inner peace. <laughs> we have next. I don't look at these cards. I just place them down. So it's funny when I read them and they're like redundant kind of. Yeah, so inner peace. Look at this. Relaxation. Relax. Quiet, you know, find a quiet spot. Relax. And you'll start, you know, understanding. Openness. So be open to change. Be open to where the roads are leading. You know, where is this journey taking me? You know, you know. You know where you want to go, so... I'm open to whatever I got to do to get there. What do I have to do? It will be illuminated for you. You will get your aha moment. You will get clarity. You will know what steps you're supposed to take next. If this is a relationship, you will understand what you need to do to get to your soulmate, to find them, you know, or is this person that I'm with, the person I'm supposed to be with. You'll get clarity. You will. It's coming, if it hasn't already. So, <laughs> you're very close to achieving your goal. Give the yes moon. <laughs> Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. <laughs> don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. And don't let your past hold your back, south node. Yeah, move on from BS. That deceit and lying, cheating, sneaking, whatever. You're better than that. You're better than that. Heal. Heal yourself. Breathe. Visualize what you want and, you know, take action steps towards it. All right. I always say these wrong. Mintaka, Mintakin. Anyway, longing for home, belonging, the original light worker. So you might be a light worker. I mean, you are Pisces. <laughs> You probably are somehow, some way, you know. Um, it's like being able to communicate to the other, with the other side or spirit messages or spirit guidance or, you know, God, to each their own, you know. Um, maybe you're here to help heal other people. So use your knowledge and your, your gifts, you know, to heal other people. Um, the, the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. So maybe you're trying to strengthen your psychic abilities or strengthen just communicating with spirit and reading your intuition and feeling your intuition. And, you know, maybe you're working on stuff like that and spirit saying you should because that is probably a place where you're supposed to be going. Um, 2020 really opened our eyes to a lot of people on what are we really here for, you know? The crumbling. <laughs> what are you clinging on to? So you have a blockage. You have something that is holding you back from getting to the ultimate goal, okay? So what is it or who is it that is holding you back? Because you are here for a reason. You are here for so much more than what you probably think you are. You know, so what or who is holding you back? Is it yourself? It could be yourself holding you back. It could be, you know, um, stuff from when you were a child, you know, your parents not believing in you or doubting your gifts or whatever. So you had to suppress it. Um, could be a loved one, a husband, wife who laughs at your out of the box thinking. I mean, it happens to me all the time <laughs> with people. So be you. 
and you know go within and really really find out who it is that you want to be because we next have you know this is like fighting arguing or competition or you know maybe someone's trying to get your attention and fighting for your attention or you're fighting for someone else's attention or this could just be family members or friends just kind of like giving their two cents and screwing up your whole plan inside your head and you know like you walk in with a positive idea and they shut it down you know or just don't believe in you you know it, ignore that move run away from that run away from that you're smarter than that you know you're gonna need to heal rest you know uh, retreat like reflect on just everything that hurt you in the past and you know release it just release it all and it helps you gain clarity because where you want to go is you want to have a new stable beginning somewhere you look beautiful you're passionate the queen of wands you know she's driven she leads the way of her her own life and has people that follow her follow her lead you know she's very um fiery and passionate and um just excited about life and excited about new projects and this is going to lead to nine of cups this is yeah nine of cups so it's going to lead to a wish fulfillment a wish is going to come true but you got to do some of the work to get there you have to do the work to get there you can't just sit and wish and hope and pray and not do anything you can visualize as much as you want but you've got to take action towards it and if it's something you're really passionate about she she's going for it she's leading the way maybe you have a new idea and you're paving the way for something big you know that no one's ever thought of before who knows maybe you're turning a hobby into a career you know but you're moving forward passionately. Maybe you found a new love. I'm just throwing this out there and you're moving towards them because you know that they're gonna make you happy and they're your wish fulfillment. Take that how it resonates. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go into advice from spirit and then the angel answers. So um, if you did resonate with this and you like this reading, please like, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I upload new content, which is quite frequently. Um, and if you would like a personal read or to get a hold of me, my information is in the description box below. All right, I'm going to pull a couple more. I'd like two more, one or two more, please. Pisces advice. Pisces. I'm not going to take these, but I will read it at the bottom. Grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. <laughs> take a leap of faith. All right, stag spirit, take the lead. <laughs> I was just saying that. I love these cards. They always like pull this reading together or pull readings. Skunk spirit, know your worth. Huge. Know your worth. Bat spirit, a rebirth is assured. Yes. You're, you're, I feel like you're about to start something bigger. You're about to like just rebirth yourself and really be who you're supposed to be. Parrot spirit, watch your words, so be kind, make sure you be kind, or if you're doing something in front of the public, be careful with what you say, watch your words. Be spirit, sweet results of weights, mm -hmm. you're on to something big, sweet results of weight. All right, what do the angels have to say to my Pisces people, Pisces? Lot. I'm gonna take that one and one more of that one. Okay, bottom heart and soul. When making your decision, take into account that your heart and soul are what your heart and soul are saying. Sometimes the mind can deceive us. Choose through love, not fear. The unknown. Do not fear the unknown. This is a time of deep exploration exploration and transformation unfamiliar territory leads to new horizons faith do not lose faith the storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine once more yes didn't we get like storm oh, this one was a stormy one 
don't know, I thought there were some storm ones in this. Could have been another reading. Um, destiny. Your destiny is to blossom, to shine, to transform to an ever greater light. 100%. Archangel Gabriel. You will soon receive some positive news. The channels for clear and honest communication are now open. Keep an open heart and speak your truth lovingly without fear. Yes. Didn't we just have cards of that? Oh, there's so many cards here now. But yeah, the truth and... Oh, yes. Yes. You are being protected by angels, okay? All right, guys. I hope this resonated for you. Um, I will definitely see you next time. Until then, Happy New Year and take care. <laughs>